One more. Oopsie. <laughs> Hello everyone, so in this video, we'll talk about the Happy Model Moblite 7 and we will convert this from a 75mm frame down to a 65mm frame. And the reason for this is I really am a fan of 65mm whoops, really really small. And although people do suggest not to use the Voxnail 1S, which is an HD system, or a very very tiny whoop because with a 65 millimeter frame you could only use probably around 350 milliampere of battery which is sometimes not enough for that spec of HD system which is why people do suggest that you use 75 millimeter frame but it's quite for me it's a bit bigger for my indoor flight and I have always been watching the live stream of Shiati FPV wherein he is using this really really tiny whoop try to see if this would be a viable option if you really want to to do this kind of builds go watch his videos very very informative and a very 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 nice guy I, I like his dad as well because he, his dad teaches how to to solder very very small board so might as well you, you check his live stream if you have the time so there are things that you need to, 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 to do. Moblite 7 has a very big motor. So I, I did this. I, I used the motor of the six the 75 millimeter. And the problem is it's too big. It's a 10, 1002 motor. So it drains the battery so badly that I could only fly for 30 seconds or, or less than a minute. So what Shiati FPV suggested is we use an 0702 so that the the size is quite small with a bit of torque and we could have a longer flight time without sacrificing on the performance. So you could also use an 0802 but I think the 0702 would be the, the sweet spot for this build. So this is our current build. I already stick all of the 0702 23,000 KVs here. I just, instead of soldering directly to the board, I just cut some wires and yeah, uh, we are able to fit everything. So let's try to weigh in. Okay, we're currently at 21 grams. It's a bit heavy, I know, because I have, I didn't uh, remove some of the parts. So we'll add this. And then we got 21 grams still. Of course, we need to put the frame and some, some grommets. Okay, we are now at 25 gram. Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay, we are at 25 grams. Wait, I'm doing a video. Okay, so we are at 25 grams. Probably uh, with all of these screws, I think we're going to reach 26 grams. So let's try to lower down the the weight up to 23. Okay, so this dipole antenna, we'll try to remove the uh, this part. So once you remove this metal uh, thing here, you will be left with your mona. Okay, so this will be similar to this one. We will just put some uh, heat shrink to protect that element. So this is the 65 millimeter. It should be like this. <laughs> so this is the Walksnail 1S 65 millimeter build of our happy model Moblite. Let's call this Moblite 6. So the KV is 23,000 KV, but Shiati FPV suggested that you use around the 26 and above so so that if you will do a lot of freestyle moves it's the best possible KV but I don't have it at the moment so I use the 23,000 KV that I have here okay so the problem is I hit uh, the some of the soldering ports so this is just my minor uh, this is my fault so I just suggest <laughs> I just want you to see it so I hit the the motor 
during the during soldering so I have to rewire it so still not still not a good see very very <laughs> I have a lot of wires so if you are like me who has a, a lot of problems wiring a very tiny pads on your board what I did here is instead of doing that I I spliced my motor wires soldered is the wires from the motor and the wires from the motherboard so as you can see here it works although there are a couple of grams that is added because of this wire so I think if you try to be if you really want to go beyond or lower than 20 grams you might as well solder directly to the board but since I don't have that confidence soldering on this tiny boards of happy model I just soldered the wires uh, everything is the same even though the battery lead the same as well I didn't do anything now this is the Walksnail VTX and that is our camera the antenna of the Walksnail and I put it at the bottom of the board so that it will not be here it's dangling so it might affect the, the flight performance of the, of the drone so I put it underneath the board let's fly this Oh yeah, w one thing that you need to do if you'll be doing this is try to lower your transmit power. I'm just using 25 milliwatt and my resolution is just 720p so that I could use the high frame rate. Not bad, 465. Whoa, not bad, not bad. Okay, can you fit here? <laughs> of course, this is a 65 millimeter drone. Since we're using 25 milliwatt, the range is not good. Oopsie! <laughs> I, I hit my face again. Yeah, oopsie. Oops. What I really like about 65 mm frame is you could just fly anywhere you want without thinking of your size especially if you're using two, two inches and above frame uh, two inches At. propeller you always think will I fit will I fit this one it will always fit I increase my tilt I think around 25 degrees At. you can fly faster
responding, I'm not sure why. The bunch of motors must hit them. With that. <laughs> Try to do a flip or a power loop. Whoopsie. Okay. Yeah, we could do it. Wow. We're able to do it. Again. One more. Okay, that's our flight that is our flight of this happy model Moblite 6 <laughs> so we have put our this is the, from from 75 down to a 65 millimeter frame the flight is quite nice and our flight time is around roughly to less than two and a half minutes and on a cruisey type of flying but if you will be flying this in and push it to its limits probably around one and a half minutes or more the, the by blade really extend our flight time because if you add more for, for example you use a tri-bladed propeller of course your flight time would be less than expected but the by blade is quite enough for this very tiny don't after our flight I, I feel that the, the 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 battery is getting warm possibly because of the very very warm vtx it's going down to that battery and as well as we are trying to push it to its limit because of the weight which is around 23 grams as i have said earlier if you will be doing this lower down your milliwatt for your vtx for the walk snail that way you will not drain the battery too much uh, a 25 milliwatt would be enough for this range of flight as I've, i have shown you but if we go 
more than probably more than 50 meters away uh, we will see a lot of these breakups on our signal of course we are using a very low milliwatt for VTX I'm just using 720p for this flight because I want to use the, the 100 Hertz so uh, the very low latency mode of the Voxnail system because for the 1S VTX of Voxnail you could only use the 100 FPS in 720p the 1080p 100 FPS would be available only for the Moonlight and the HD Pro and the bigger VTX for the 1S no, it's not available. When we try to do some dives, of course, this is a very, very small quad. You will feel that as you dive down and there is wind, it is easily blown away. <laughs> so try to adjust your movements and try to, to compensate with your throttle stick. You are also able to, to do some power loop. It was able to do so, even though we are around 3.2 volts we're still able to do some power loop but at the last part I, I crashed it's okay i think we did six power loops in one battery so that is that is good considering that this is a heavy build one thing that i really like about this is the small form factor uh, you can just fly this anywhere if you just want to do a lot of freestyle at home on your garage or your backyard such as this the 65 millimeter really is a sweet spot for the size and in terms of those kind of flight I don't like about big drones is that you need to have a big area just to just to have some fun flying but with this very tiny drones it's like a toy so if you bring this with you on a park when there is some people around you this will not hurt anyone even if you hit just a while ago I hit my head but it's okay because this is really really small and tiny so just enjoy your flight and Shadi FBV, thank you for your suggestions and for your tutorials. This is our build for the Voxnail 1S 65mm frame. And I really do appreciate it. And this is really a good flyer. So, if you have other comments or suggestions, please put it in the comments section below. There are some affiliate links if you do like some of the products. If you want to help the channel, you could hit those links. It will not cost anything to you but the channel will receive a, a very small commission so that we could explore other drones and we could just have fun flying our favorite hobby and as always see you on the next video happy flying take care bye